look what I got on my no! I have a little little baby chihuahua. It's a little baby chihuahua. This thing is so tiny. I know. It's like the size of my hand. <laughs> no. Eh? That is so it's tiny. It's like the size. Look at her. Oh, look. She, how old is she? She has 14 weeks. 14 weeks. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. She's so happy. Yeah, she's happy. How did you find this? Well, like, like when, uh, you know, the baby, like, I know the Chihuahua have a baby, right? They uh -huh. have a lot of them, then the guy gave the, the lady for free. Did she? Yeah. Can you get me one? I don't know. I asked her that day. She said all, all of them that sent self out. They're what already happened? gone. Oh, my God. This one is so cute. What happened to Blue? Oh, he got old. 15 years old, Blue got. You remember Blue, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he was a good dog, wasn't How's he? How's Brooklyn, everybody? everybody? I haven't seen Brooks for a while. He's in Richmond somewhere. He kind of went off and did his own thing. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at how tiny she is. She wants to play. Well, ask the lady if she has another one, and if she does, I want one. Okay, I will. Yeah, you never know. Might get lucky. Yeah, I'll ask her again. Oh, she's so cute. I know. <laughs> so anyway, mm -hmm. we're at the, uh, in an apartment here where... You know, the mayor likes to push all the poor people. And uh, so uh, we're going to go back upstairs. Hold on. Okay, this is Mama Lynn. And this is why people love me, because I talk about this stuff. I talk about how there's a disparity in our uh, community where the mayor doesn't seem to do anything about it. You know, people pay good money, and no, I'm not. They're paying good money, and they're not doing anything about these bugs. And there's like four children that live in this house, baby on the way. So, I'm just going to stand here for a minute. I just took them off the horse. Don't get on the horse. I just seen him. Just came up again. Get off the horse. Get off the horse, dude. Where? That's what you make it. Hey, how? There it is. Yeah, I did, but I'm watching this. This is what they're telling me, that, and they're downtown like this. In the complexes downtown as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, right, yeah. it's all over, I know. And nobody does anything about it. It's like you're talking to yourself when you're talking about this stuff, I right? Have some yeah. Every time I call them, they say they're coming to spray. They can't spray. You see, they brought yeah. that. I'm saying. They yeah. have a silver paper. Say what? No, no. Oh. Oh, okay, we're well, going have chili, the red one. Chili? The red pepper. So, yeah. See, he's yeah, waiting for dinner, this guy. No, not the red one, the red one. He's just waiting for dinner. Okay, so here we are in a bedroom, and the uh, renter of this build suite here, looks like these things are mating, sprayed, but obviously there's an issue in the building itself, as with many buildings in Surrey, and we, I also know of another family that lives downtown that has the same problem, and I don't know why they're building condos that people can't afford to move into, because there's children and families that live here. Where am I looking? No, I don't see one. Just the same ones. So yeah, this is uh, this is how people are forced to live. Um, they pay good money for rent. You can see that thing moving. Yeah. So this is this is uh, maybe you know maybe maybe uh. Yeah. That one they just kind of like this is not right. It's just crawling around, doing what it wants. It went underneath the thing there. This is a building of how many suites? How many apartment buildings? Uh, how, more than hundred. Yeah. Hundred? Yeah. Hundred? Hundred suites? Yeah. So you can figure three people per suite. That's three hundred people. That. This is throughout the whole building. This is not a an individual household problem. Mm. This is a, a building problem. Mm -hmm. 
right? And the thing is, is the, uh, is, is the mayor in this city is making, building lots and lots of condos. You know, people, the only way you can get these condos, there it went. The only way you can get these condos is if you can buy them. And unfortunately, people living in these buildings can't afford that. So, you know, that's an issue. Okay, members and friends. Um, I was going to do, I did, a, I, I started, I was last night at some place, right? Taking videos of cockroaches in apartment buildings. So this one's going to be called, you know, Cockroach Alley. But anyway, um, I want to point out something here. Obviously, these people that have my grandson are trying to hack into my page because what they've done is they have come in here and they have removed a lot of my videos. If you look at the date, January 31st, okay, today is February 4th, and a lot of my stuff is missing. So somehow they got up in here and they started deleting my stuff because they're trying to hide you know, the things that I'm trying to say here, they don't like it because, you know, they're gods. And no matter what I say or what anybody else says, you know, they got they got their point to prove. You know, they got their mission. They're out to adopt my grandson. You know, they're so much better than his family. So in the meantime, I want to point out something here. Here's my timeline. This is what I put up last night. If you look at the uh, time here, it says 13 hours ago. Okay. So they took that out. Uh, they took out this one 13 hours ago. Okay. You know. They took out this one, Piano for Andre, which I uploaded last night 14 hours ago. Oops, hold on. See, 14 hours ago. There's my comment. They obviously didn't like what I had to say, so let me read it. What gives complete strangers with the title of a social worker the right to destroy eight lives and especially the life of a toddler so that some decrepit individuals can perpetrate themselves as youthful beings with a heart? Okay, so they somehow managed to delete that unless, of course, I refresh, you know, refresh exit out come back in and you know see what's going on in there let's see what else we got oh yeah that's the one that they took away here's another one modern day slavery I had a bunch of links attached into that well, hold on here kind of okay this one was done Saturday right at 11 35 p.m. they took that one out okay and today's now Monday so that was Saturday in the evening late before Sunday so they took out that one. So they're just coming in here and, you know, so much for, you know, what do you call that? Uh, freedom of speech. You know, Facebook is obviously not for the people. If people can come in and just start picking away at it, you know. We have a right to stand up for Andre. He's been with us since he's been born. He's our family member. He's coming home. They can say whatever they want to say. Everybody's depressed in the house. I mean, are they account are they going to be held accountable for that? Hmm? Let me just see what else I can find. Okay. There's another one. When was this? Saturday at 8:15. Hmm. What these people are doing to Andre is the same thing the slave master did to the slaves in the 1500s to 1900s. And even then, they, the slave master, only changed the rules when slavery was banded, branded illegal. Slave masters took children away from their families and sold them off on the high, to the highest bidder. But only now they adopt them out under a corrupt political system that is paid for by taxpayers. Okay. So they took that off my page. I don't know why they why they would do that. Again, I'm going to exit out. 
and uh, hold on. All right, so there's another one, Friday at 12.37 a.m. You can see it. Child exploitation, who's who, Ministry of Tears, because they're trying to say I'm exploiting my grandson. I say, no, it's more like them exploiting my grandson. Uh, it's not like they don't know that I go out in the community and do the things that I do. I told that social worker, I Mama Lynn, Mama Lena, Mama G, but mostly known as Mama Lynn, and this little this little 26-year-old with her backing of her supervisors, you know, they're getting off on this crap, right? So what, they come into my page now? Huh? What happened to, you know, the Canadian Constitution to be able to have free speech? Hmm? What about the right to defend yourself? Hmm? I'm not mentioning no names. Hmm? Okay, I guess these social workers... Here, let's go into here. I guess these social workers can also take responsibility for the further destruction of the nonprofit as they work to oppress and dismantle my family by attacking the smallest and the most vulnerable of them all. Cut off the head of the mother by sending her out into the streets because that's what they did. They threw her out into the streets knowing that, knowing that she had no money, no food, no family support system, no shelter, no nothing. Uh huh. Deceive the youth with forked tongues. Sure, give us our give it. Give us your money. Sign up to volunteer, even though we know that we're coming in here in not not even a week, and we're gonna take your little nephew away. But we're gonna mislead you to think that everything's okay, because at the end of the day, you know we're gonna get what we want, and that's the child, because we have another mission for that child. Hmm. While attempting to maim and defame me as a shield to hide their own ugliness from the world. I have nothing to hide, okay? Because if I was, I wouldn't be doing this. These people do. So that was Friday. So they t managed to take that off my page. Are they trying to scare me again? Let's see what else we can find. Okay, so now I'm on my daughter's page. They haven't started to attack her yet. You know. And, uh... As you can see... She linked over. Hold on here. What am I doing? There it is. As you can see, she linked over my videos. January 30th. She linked it over. Here's the video. Duty Council. Right? Feeding Trough, Ministry of Tears, right? Mom and Her Words, Ministry of Tears, there it is, right? And then there's this one, mm -hmm. trying not to go mad, Ministry of Tears, but she hasn't been, uh, she hasn't been posting anything there. This is why I want him back within six months max. That's what my daughter is saying, but we need him back ASAP. You're right. Where are we? Sierra is right back, but worse from where she was before getting pregnant with Andre, putting Austin's demands first, being the abused girlfriend. And even today, they both yelled at me as they got better things to do than help me. Their drugs come first as they miss their script again for methadone. And they say they don't feel well. And they don't care how we feel. Sierra is not right in the head. Hasn't been for a long time. But only what little left of brains she has after giving birth to Andre. She's now destroyed because she's incapable of being responsible on her own. And social services made that happen by kicking her out of the house. Also, we didn't deserve this. And Andre should be given back to us right away. You kids did so much for your nephew. And it's so wrong to be treated in such a bad way from both Sierra and social workers. As Austin never did anything for Andre except always want to fight with Sierra. when he wasn't getting what he wanted. 
Well, now Austin has Sierra when he wants her and still he's fighting while crying on he's the victim when we know it's Andre who's the victim and you kids. Where are we? What about children's rights to remain with their families without social services using children as pawns to silence grandmothers who fight on behalf of their grandbabies? Social workers act if they are gods without being held accountable in a court of law until it's too late and emotional damage to the children is done. The Catholic Church is thriving via ministries that use kids to put fear into the neighborhood to oppress the poor even more so you don't fight back. So they are coming into my page and thinking that they can just come in here and delete my stuff and that's going to solve the problem. But it's not going to solve the problem now, is it? Hmm? Because I'll just upload those back up. And what's it going to do? Hmm? Cockroach Alley? Are the cockroaches scattering? Hmm? So, just to show you. talking about some stuff here on another channel there boom January 15th that's when it all started where's the date on that you can see it okay so let's just scroll down Ministry of Tears, Court Day 1, Andre's Memorial up there, right there. Ministry of Tears, Court Day 2. Huh? Ministry of Tears, Andre's Cry. Institutional Racism. Ministry of Tears, Loss of Language. Right here. Nothing Social About Social Services, Ministry of Tears. White male, abuse of a child. Nana's trying, Ministry of Tears. January 21st. Black Magic, Ministry of Tears. January 22nd. Ministry of Hell, Freezing Andre. January 22nd. Lost Custody Without Court, Ministry of Tears. January 23rd, even though these people keep insisting my daughter had custody. No Lunch For You, Ministry of Tears. January 23rd. On the Hunt, Ministry of Tears, January 25th. Spit on Grandma, Court Day 3, January 25th. Because I went to court on the 24th. I just didn't bring my camera with me that day. But my family went with me. First part of the paper trail, Ministry of Tears, January 25th. This is all the school stuff that I bought for Andre so I could put it up in his room and do stuff with him. Trying Not to Go Mad, Ministry of Tears, January 26th. Mom and Her Words, Ministry of Tears, Saturday at 8.26 a.m. in the morning because I can't sleep anymore. Duty Council, Feeding Trough, Ministry of Tears, Saturday at 8.27. Uh, where's the social insurance number, Ministry of Tears, because that was never returned back to me. Instead, it was, it was deceivedly taken away, it was stolen from underneath my nose as the care, daycare worker was talking away and handed me all the cards in one lump thing and distracted me so I wouldn't take the time to go through each one because I trusted that she was giving them back to me the way it was given to her. That was Saturday at 8.27 a.m. Child exploitation, who's who, Ministry of Tears, because they're trying to suggest to my 17-year-old daughter that I'm exploiting my grandson. And I say, no, they're exploiting him because they're using my name, me, Mama Lynn, in the community to show everybody who's fucking boss with this 26 year old that just got a freaking college right so that she can put us into check so I think it's more like they're exploiting us because they sure in hell haven't helped my family uh, Saturday at 828 
uh, Modern Day Slavery, Ministry of Tears. Mm, because they want to put them up for adoption. I've already been advised by a lawyer that that's the direction that they're going in. And that's why they're acting the way they're acting, because they've seen it out in the Surrey, B.C., British Columbia area before. Hmm. And that was done, well, I just uploaded that one on this channel. And then, of course, piano for Andre, because my daughter was playing piano just slightly for a little bit yesterday, which, you know, hasn't been played since this all happened. Because I'm having to re-put into my page what these people came in and tried to delete. Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe they're back. Ah, they're back. They're back. Wow, isn't that interesting? It popped back up. So how did that happen? Hmm? Who's messing around with my page? Hmm? I'd like to know. Why do I have to worry about money for a lawyer? Worry about borrowing money on my life insurance. Worry about having to beg on the streets for money, that will be and worry about trying to do online fundraising. Why do I have to worry about Andre at 7 a.m. in the morning on a Sunday? Because I know he's still scared and petrified to be locked into a room all by himself and treated like a criminal while social workers plan to auction him off to some barren woman who cannot have kids herself. Why? These are all valid questions. And of course, I looked up some other um, you know, fighting modern, modern day slavery, human trafficking, modern day slavery, child trafficking, modern, modern day slavery, and daughter never returned since the audio was captioned behind closed doors of family courts. This lady talks about how, you know, these people make bonuses for every kid that they can, you know, reel in and put them in the foster care system or adopt them out. They get bonuses. So, there. It mysteriously popped back up. So, we're just going to leave leave that, those there. That's my little baby grandson. I love him so much. We're fighting for you, Andre. We're never going to give up. No matter what, we're never going to give up. We're, you're coming home. You are coming home. Your room is there for you, and you're coming home. Okay, so I'm going to make this brief. I'm just going to put everything together with the cockroaches, right? I was out yesterday, you know, talking to some families that I know that happen to be living in these apartment buildings <coughs> that are, like, totally infested with cockroaches, crawling all over the place. These poor families, they just don't know what to do. And they're all sitting there petrified, waiting for social services to show up and start picking their kids off. I talked to, like, three different women, four different women, and one man that wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> because he's got his own issues and uh, they're all petrified to be living in these buildings and they know that they're helpless to do anything about it. Two bedroom apartment, $800, where like uh, in, you know, not even three, four years ago, two, three years ago, two, three years ago, a three bedroom apartment would go for eight. So now they're forcing, you know, families with three, four, five kids into two bedroom apartments just so they can afford the $800 because they can't afford to three bedrooms anymore because they're pushing up 11, 1200 bucks. And they're all petrified. These people are petrified waiting for social services to show up and say, oh, you know, something wrong here and something wrong. Let's take this baby away. Let's take this guy. You know, like, I can't believe the fear that is in my community. And I can't believe the state in which these people are forced to live in because the mayor of this city, Surrey, B.C., Canada, is just interested in building condos that she sells 60% of those condos to Asians in the Asian market across the waters because the Canadians ourselves cannot afford to buy them. And we cannot afford to rent them if we're low income or the working poor. And some of these women are, and men are working poor. They come in as an immigrant and under their federal, you know, whatever we agree, this, that, you know, they put them in as, you know, chambermaids and, you know, they just do whatever or nannies or whatever. And they're working poor, but yet they're forced to live in cockroach, you know, infested freaking buildings, if not bed bugs, you know. And uh, waiting for social services to show up and take their kids away. Literally. So I'm just going to make a mental note of that.
I just seen him. Just came up again. Get off the wood! Get 